Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachel Rabo. I'm a Microsoft Power Platform developer and a Dynamics 365 CRM developer. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to enable and disable Copilot in your Microsoft Power Platform environment. Don't forget to like this video and hit on the subscribe button. On my screen, I'm at the make.powerapps.com portal where I'm currently signed in with my Microsoft account. And I am using a Microsoft 365 developer account, which is a free license. And it gives me the opportunity to build personal projects and learn Microsoft Power Platform. And I also have access to Microsoft 365 applications for free. If you are interested in setting up a Microsoft 365 developer account, check out my video where I showed how to set up a Microsoft 365 developer account. Thank you. So now, if you can see on my screen, this is actually a different account because this is actually a different environment because Copilot is not on this environment. And the reason for that is that now Copilot can only be deployed in an environment that is in a USA region. And this environment is not in a USA region. I'm going to show you the difference. So I'm going to move to another environment and you are going to see the difference. So this is the way it looks like in an environment where Copilot is and also an environment that is this that is deployed in the USA region. So this is the way it looks like. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to enable and disable Copilot in an environment that already has that already has Copilot, which is an environment that is already been deployed in a USA region. And in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to create one, how to deploy an environment in a USA region and have the opportunity to get access to Copilot. So you can check that out. So I'm going to continue with this video. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to click on this settings icon at the right side of my screen, then click on admin center. So you can also do this too by going to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. So you do not, it's not compulsory that you have to go to this particular portal through Power Apps. So you can go through it by going to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. So the next thing I'm going to do is to confirm that I'm currently logged into the account I want changes on. And that is by going to the right side of my screen and clicking on the abbreviation of on my name. So I'm not going to click on it to avoid showing my, my email. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go to environment at the right hand side of my screen and clicking on that particular environment, I want to disable Copilot. So I'm going to click on blog post testing. The next thing I'm going to do is to click on settings. And then on product, I'm going to click on the drop down and click on features. So on features, we can see Copilot, which is currently on preview which has a little right up here that says allow canvas editors to get AI powered answers to how to questions and AI builder GPT experiences currently in preview. So I'm just going to click on that don't go icon and switch it off. And don't forget to scroll down and save your changes. Don't forget to scroll down and save your changes. So that is saved. 
And if you also want to come back here and enable Copilot in your environment, all you have to do is just click on this back, scroll down and click on save. So now I'm going to go back to Power Apps to see the changes that has been made by refreshing my screen. And you can see this is the same environment Copilot is, but we no longer have the box for Copilots. So thank you very much for watching this video and hoping to see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.